Hey, what's up? This is Sepp de la Web with another Flatsome tutorial. And it's a little bit early in my yurt, so I needed to put on some lights. Um, but I really wanted to explain a little bit uh, about this custom product page layout. We created a product page back, maybe you've already seen it, but we have created six layouts that could really optimize your product page uh, for your Flatsome theme. And one of uh, a few of our templates are containing a lot of visual aspects, as you can see. And this could be really nice if you want to highlight specific things of your product that you're selling. Um, but I want to teach you a little trick because um, this part, so the part that you can see here above, will probably be staying the same throughout your whole website for all your products. But these things, like these highlights, will be changed uh, for each product and you don't want to you know um, change your custom product layout every time you change uh, a small thing because these things above uh, in an ideal situation you want to uh, control that globally meaning that if for any reason you want to make this title a little bit bigger or you maybe want to uh, change this uh, check marks or you want to update your icon boxes you don't want to change that for all your products you only want to change this lower part and I have a little small trick how I would do this so let's get started so this is the product page pack I'm going to test this out on one of our uh, templates that we're selling so this is Moi um, it's one of our elegant teams where we're selling furniture it's also one of the templates that you can sell um, buy and start uh, start your Flatsum project with um, and let's let's choose one of our uh, demo in like our dummy product pro product placeholders <laughs> sorry it's still early uh and as you can see for all of these products we're having the same basic layout that is almost flat some default and now i'm going to integrate this layout uh for this specific product so let's edit the product and i already imported the product page pack so the only thing that i need to do is i need to go to product product layout and then I need to select product page two because this is product page two, as you can see. And now when I save or update and visit the product, you can see it's looking much more the same that we're having here. So like I said in the beginning, uh, we do want to have this highlight matching the this specific product, but we don't want to change all these things because they will be all the same for all our products. So how I would do this is first of all, I need to check um, how I can find these parts inside my UX builder. So how this product page layout has been built up, we have a section, we have a product, we have some product information, we have the unique selling points, and then we have the image text block one, image text block two. So from this part, so from here till uh, to all the way down, this is what we wanna you know, take out. Um, so I'm going to close, but I need to remember image text block one because I need to find that in my code. And this is a little bit technical, but you will probably work it out. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to my UX blocks, because here you can find the product page two layout um, going inside. And then I search on text. And here you can find text block one. So in the code, it's starting here. So when I'm taking all this out, here we go. And then I will cut. So copy paste, but now I'm you know taking it out, but I made sure I copied it as well. Update. And now when I'm visiting this table lamp, you can see it's just stopping after the, uh, the icon boxes. So now I only have this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new block. I'm calling this product. And then I'm going to give it the name of my product as well. So table lamp in this case. And I'm going to paste the thing that I just uh, cut or copied before, making sure I'm not pasting it in the visual editor, but I'm pasting it in a text editor to avoid any problems again. And then I publish. And now the last thing what I need to do is I need to copy this short code, going to my table lamp, click on edit product, 
scroll all the way down. I'm now inside my product, going to product layout. And as you can see, we have selected product page two, and now we wanna paste that short code in our bottom content. Done, update. And now when I'm visiting the, the product page, it still looks uh, the same. The only thing, as you can see, it's showing me a tooltip. So I can change these details, especially for this table lamp. Scrolling down, you know, changing any kind of image that I would like, because every product has its own specifications, of course. You know, changing details, changing text. And once I'm ready, I will apply an update. So let's say I wanna now do this also for another product. It's very easy because now I can just go to all products, select, for example, this uh, other desk lamp. We don't have this light layout set up yet. I could also do this globally, meaning that if I wanna have that uh, product page layout for all my products, instead of you know selecting it for each product, I can also go to WooCommerce product page. And then instead of our custom product page layout, I will go for product page two. And as you can see, it will be changed. So now all my products are having that uh, product page uh, layout two that we are ha having in our product page pack. Uh, and now what I can do is edit this product as well. And now scrolling down. And here at the product page uh, layout, I'm gonna insert the bottom content. But again, I wanna probably have new details for this specific other lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to UX blocks again. Oh yeah, and one small thing is I installed a nice plugin called, I think, Duplicator, a duplicate page from, well, this is not really an author name, but just say it, it ends with 287. It's uh, It has 2 million downloads, so I, I trust this plugin. Um, so it's a very easy way to duplicate stuff. So now I can just duplicate that product table lamp here. As you can see, it has a duplicate this um, link. Clicking on it, I will just duplicate that lower part. Clicking on it. And then, is this also a product? This is a table lamp. Uh, no, this product. Oh, it's a design desk lamp. So now... I just copied uh, or duplicated the um, the UX block, publish, scrolling down, taking that short code again, going to my product, scrolling all the way down, and I don't need to select that custom product page layout because I set it uh, as a default, that product page two for all my products. So I only need to paste in that short code for the bottom content. Update. And now when I'm visiting that design lamp, as you can see, I'm having that specific lower part again. I can just click edit with UX Builder. Changing that image just to show you that could be, you know, changed. Here we go. And the whole reason, maybe you're asking, Seb, why are you, you know, making it so difficult for yourself? Because I just want to have, so if for any reason I want to, you know, change something in this topper, this upper part, and I don't, you know, I can just go edit this product layout with the UX builder. And let's say um, I want to change something in this upper part, saying the product title need to be large, this 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 price needs to be small, whatever. You know, this real letter needs to be something different. So I can change all these upper parts. And then this will be, you know, globally changed for all my products, but keeping this lower part separate for each product. So hope that makes sense. I find it a nice way to, you know, exclude those two sections and then you can choose, okay, what needs to be set up for all my products and that if I want to change something, I can just change that in the, in the uh, product layout. And then I, I took something out and set that to be my bottom content uh, for each product. All right, so uh, let me know what you think. You can also watch this video on our member area. That's where you uh, can find much more tutorials. And I will also add this to the product page pack. 
uh, and leave your comments here because we're much more active uh, on the member area. Um, yeah, also have a look at our product page pack. We've just launched it. We're having the 40% discount still. I'm not sure when you're vi uh, viewing this uh, video, but now we're still having a 40% discount selling this amazing product page layouts for only $29. Um, so, and it's just a very, it's, I think it's the most important page when you're selling uh, and working with an e-commerce website. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.